Hey there, YouTube. Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And uh, yeah, popped off a bunch of reviews tonight with my buddy Brad. I say hi, Brad. Hello. And uh, yeah, we figured we'd end the review night with a victory beer. Why a victory beer? Uh, I'll tell you why. Because I was at a local to-go place today, and I saw this uh, sitting on the shelf, and uh, I said, hmm, never had a Weizenbach from Victory before. And then I looked, and it said, enjoy by August 2012. So I'm thinking it's anywhere between three to five years old, which is pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, as far as what it says in the bottle, Victory, for your taste, Victory Moonglow Weizenbach. Unfiltered wheat beer. Uh, haunting in its subtle complexity is tempting wheat beers alive and wild, fruity flavors and deep spicy aromas as bold and fleeting as a harvest moon. This dark pot beer makes for a perfect autumnal uh, elixir brewed in the tradition of Bavarian a Munglo Weizenbox. Oh, Munglo shines with its own magical yeast strain intact and excludes some radiance all its own, whatever I butchered all that. Anyway, so there you go. I don't have an ABV on here somewhere. Do you see one? I don't see an ABV. No. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. I don't see one on the bottle. This bottle is sweating like a Brad in church, but it's uh, it's not it's not actually cold. It's, it's probably about 55 degrees. It's, it's brutal hot in my house right now. Sweat is pouring down my face. Brad isn't courteous to that, so I hate him. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see what the sucker has to offer. Patrick Ewing over here. Hey. Quarter. Nice yeah. color. Yeah. We're drinking them out of uh, vases today. Yeah. These glasses, everybody hates these glasses. I brought these up to the uh, Albino Rhino Beer Fest that I just came back from. No one likes the fact that you paid 25 cents a glass. Yeah, these were, uh, I got these and two tulips and then... Um, and a weird thistle glass for like chunks a nickel. of shit just floating around. That means it's good. I told <laughs> you that's where they keep the heroin, baby. It's, okay. it's, it's in the filter. There you go. That, my friends, is funky and big. Like Brad likes his dudes. Um, yeah, uh, there's a ton <laughs> of unfiltered funky and it's floating around in there. Dregs, if you will. I do not give a crap about that because I am a fan of beer. And if you don't like that shit in your beer, suck it. Um, Headwise, it should only be two fingers, but it's almost eight, four eight, fingers eight, of eight. off white khaki colored head because of these glasses. 85 finger head. 85 finger head. Um, and a nice, nice yeah, golden color. A golden brown color. It, I usually like a little bit darker skew on my Wisen box, but this is in line with being something that I could like. Just looking at the date back here, on the bottom there's a, there's a code. Looks like I would say the uh, 181st day of 2012. There you go. Three? Yeah, so about three, three, three and a half years, probably. Let's get on our nose. Yep. Definitely get your wheat there. Um, almost sounds like. It oh, sounds like. Because I can smell them, or hear through my nose. <laughs> um, it smells like it actually might be going a little sideways. There's a little bit of tartness there. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or if that's a sourness of a turning. No, there's there's definitely some type of funk going on here. Yeah. Almost like hay. It's like a, to me it's like almost like like a sour grapiness, but a, a tart grapiness, not sour. Okay. I'm picking up a glassy. I don't know why. Well, I mean it's it's weaker. It's a Weizenbach. It's usually gonna have that kind of uh, like doppelbach, but with wheat notes, and you typically get like kind of like. So. And you guys can't see on here, but like the uh, the head's like effervescent. Like when I'm looking at it, it's like kind of bubbling a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it smells. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the shelf with this one. It's a weird one. Typically, with your wisen box, I'm looking for a nice wheat, a nice wheat with um, nice sweetness, maybe a little bit of banana. A lot of banana, hopefully. Um, this isn't really there nose-wise, but it is old, so take that with a grain of salt. Let's dive Cheers. in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's definitely old. It definitely has oxidation going on, but it's not It's not offensive. It's a little bit thin. I'm getting like a little metallic at the end. Is that like from oxidation or? Yeah, I mean, to me it's more like um, 
You can do metallic. To me, it's more like um, like a, like a soggy cardboard. Like, but I, I know I what you're talking chew, about. I always chew on cardboard, so I know exactly what you're talking about. I actually like it, but I then get um, I've been drinking aged stuff for so long. Even a negative, sometimes I like. Not that I like them, but I'm willing to look past them. But I definitely I mean, think this is for, for past that's prime. Oh yeah, but I mean like for Ooh, chocolate. I don't get chocolate. I haven't taste. I haven't taken a sip for a while. I get all my chocolate. For that. Almost like dark, dark chocolate. Like, like a powdered baker's chocolate. Yeah. I mean, but for local boys, I mean, this is coming right out of Pennsylvania. It's a local boy beer that's freaking three years old and that's yeah. supposed to be enjoyed within three months. <laughs> yeah. You know, I dig it. You know what I mean? In its state and form right now, I would give this beer an 87. What would you give it? Yeah, I'm right there. You know, 86, 87, I think it's just, I mean, there's there's a little bit of things that, to me, I'm not, in, I'm not used to aged beers as much as you are. You know, so, like I said, it's a little metallic on my flavoring, you know, but it's definitely like a lot of strong notes there, like the wheat, the grassiness, the sweet caramels, like it's all there, but yeah. I think it's maybe a little bit too aged. Oh yeah, definitely past the friend. But in a way that I can still enjoy it, because I'm an old beer whore. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, 87 for me. What did I say 87, right? Um, 87. You're right around the same yeah. um, value and availability. I mean, I paid two and change, two and a quarter for this. A single bottle off the shelf, aged three years, to me, that value is pretty good. Even though it is past its prime, it's a nice, um, experiment a nice look into something and so I would give it an eight on a value scale and availability it's a two because I can go back to the place and get some but it's an age beer so your mileage is going to vary but I'll give it a two on a uh, availability so there you go Victory's uh, Moonglow Weisenbach a 2012 vintage excuse me uh, there you go. I'm not going to do the, if you like what, you like this, because it's each. So there you go. Uh, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. Right. And I'm on Instagram at the general 451 There you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice three-year-old Weizenbach right now. <laughs> and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.